What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Danny. In today's video, I have a what is in my birth center bag. Um, technically, the title of this video is usually like what's in my hospital bag. I'm not giving birth in a hospital, so I don't want to call it that. Um, so I'm not trying to manifest that into my life. Keep in mind, I am giving birth at a birth center, not a hospital. Hospitals <laughs> tend to keep you um, like you know anywhere from like two to three days depending on like the type of birth you have i'm going to birth center so i don't have to pack that much stuff i'm going to go home a lot sooner so i just want to show you guys what i packed for myself and what i packed for my daughter so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up enjoy subscribe all that fun stuff and let's get into it so i just decided to use this steve madden duffel bag it's huge and i love this bag for traveling um because it's huge and you can fit so much stuff in there so let me open her up and i'm going to start with the stuff that i packed for baby girl because there's obviously less stuff to pack for her you have to add a couple more things in here uh but for the most part this is what i'm taking with me to the bird center okay so i packed two outfits for her i packed a newborn diaper and we need to put a size one diaper in here in case this is too small um, two outfits for uh, her to go home in and then a hat I really wanted to do like the whole like cute like you know razzle dazzle outfit like realistically it's gonna be s cold outside it's cold outside so I'd rather my baby be warm and comfortable and she can still look cute and be warm and comfortable um, than be like cute and cold do you know what I mean so there's that I did pack some pampers plant-based wipes for that poopy booty for that meconium and then um in her little bag here i packed her some detangler curls and coil uh coil like it's like a hair moisturizer just in case i don't know if i'm gonna end up using it but um also pack some lotion for after she gets her little bath. I don't want them putting just anything on my daughter. Um, so we got the Shea Moisture, uh, la, 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 raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil, and it's hypoallergenic for delicate skin. So we packed that. And then I just packed a little brush that got a little smushed against everything in her bag. And I think I need to pack a few more things. So we have like two blankets for her that we already have in the car. Um, ready to go. Hot and ready. Um, and then there's a few more things I want to stick in here. Like I might just put like a towel and a washcloth just in case. I don't know what they use at the hospital or the birth center. Um, so also pack this Shea Moisture Baby um, Delicate Hair and Skin Manuka Honey and Lavender. Nighttime, nighttime shampoo and bath milk. Um, and yeah, I just, when they give her a bath, I want them to use what I want them to use on her skin. So I also like, am very like, I want to come. <laughs> when you give her a bath, when you take her away to do like whatever you do, let me up out of the bed. I don't care if I'm hurting. I'm going to find the strength. And it's also like, I want to. I kind of want to give her her first bath like this is like that is something that it just is, is my extra probably um, that's all right so like I mentioned I am planning on giving birth at the birth center it's a lot different vibe um, a lot of different practices than a traditional hospital I'm a holistic girly if you know you know um, so I packed a speaker and then I packed a charger cord for the speaker, and this also works for my camera. I would love to record. I am planning on recording uh, the birth, as well as just, like, you know, my experience while I'm in there. Three of these. Okay, the other one's in, in the bag somewhere. I don't feel like digging for it. Just some candles to light. These are unscented. They're just... So I can create myself a nice little safe space. You know what I mean? A nice... Oh! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> A nice vibe and then I did also pack a candle um, love this set by the way 
a candle for um just a scented candle yeah to have you know you gotta set the vibe you gotta make sure you're ready you're prepared that you're in your zen Alrighty, so some postpartum things that I packed for myself. Just grabbed it all. I just grabbed it all. Let me relax myself. So I packed some Freedom Mom disposable boy short underwear, which I think these are a great idea. Um, no one wants to ruin their panties. I also got this or packed this Freedom Mom perineal relief foam. Okay, that's going to go hand in hand with my a lot of freedom mom obviously freedom mom um instant ice maxi pad so these are patsicles if you know you know helps and aids in the recovery of healing your private area after you push a couple pound baby out and then the freedom mom perineal healing pad liners um the foam and the pads are both infused with um witch hazel also packed this why am i blanking uh, right now this peri bottle it's like a perineum spray bottle oh yeah and what's really cool about this one is like a lot of them you have to like go under and try to get in the toilet this one's like angled so where it like goes up and yeah it's pretty cool it goes down um, I didn't snap it up all the way, but so that it fits in your little bag. And if you're curious as to what this is, your hospital or birth center should provide you with you, with one. Sometimes they don't. Um, as you pee, it can burn after obviously just giving birth. So you put your um, solution in here, your water, it's usually water, and then as you pee to dilute the pee. So it doesn't burn as much. <laughs> Packed this abdominal, abdominal, if I can speak, abdominal wrap for after you have the baby. This just helps to hold everything together and not make you feel like your insides are falling apart. This is also by Freedom Mom. And I don't even know how I just unfolded this, but. We're gonna fold it back just like this. <laughs> Pretend like that's how we done it. All right, now moving on to clothes. So this is for after I give birth. I just want to be comfy. So I packed a button-down jammy shirt, and I think it's really important to just have something that's like easy to open. Someone actually pointed this out while we were in one of like our birthing classes that we took, and I just think it's super important to have something that like button buttons I guess opens right and you have to take it off when it's time to breastfeed uh, baby girl so that's what I packed and matching shorts and then obviously if I'm cold um, we have blankets in the car or I'll just throw on some leggings and these are the leggings that I packed also just some random comfy leggings um and also just a regular black polo tee to throw on some regular underwear just like pre-birth just because um i do plan on having a water birth you guys so um yeah i just figured some regular underwear would be nice and also packed a nursing bra which i'm gonna show you guys looks kind of crazy <laughs> just gonna show you so this is what it would look like. Obviously, this would like clip on here. I'll show you guys one side up, one side down because it looks crazy. All right, this is it. And then this comes down. It's like easy nursing. Like you have your shirt, you can button it down, button it back up, and then your nursing bra makes it easy to do what you need to do, okay? We want this to be as simple as possible. Also just packed two pair of socks. My mom got me these and I think they're so cute. It says, if you can read this, I'm about to be a mom. And I thought these were so cute. And I'm super excited to wear those. And I also packed, if you don't know, 
By the way, guys, I'm obsessed with Stitch. I have loved him my whole life. Ohana means family. The family means no one's getting no one's getting left behind, okay? <laughs> I love Stitch. And so my boyfriend's mom got me these to wear um, after we shower and get all cleaned up after having baby. And they're so comfy and cute. And I'm in love with them, so I packed them. And then, like I mentioned, I'm having a water birth. So I just have a sports bra. That's what I plan to wear in the tub i did also stick this in there and that's so cute she got me a stitch cup too so i can have my own bev stay nice and hydrated while i'm in there and then last but not least i'm gonna go through my what do you call this my wash bag i guess yeah my wash bag this is the one that i have it's super cute as you can see and i literally got this off of shein for a couple bucks a month a couple months ago and i love it so in this bag i packed body wash this is body wash we use on the daily it's so good packed some lotion for our skin of course some deodorant so we're not stinking the place up and down travel size toothpaste a toothbrush and then I just pack like some random like um, like a hairbrush an edge control brush a regular comb some chapstick some edge control but these edges baby you know they gotta be late after before and after i push for root for root and then just so we didn't waste any washcloths i feel like you guys should really invest in these they're quick you can throw them away typically you like can wash these but after i give birth i'm just gonna throw it away they're these disposable body scrubbing loofah gloves and i think they're so fire babe is actually gonna pack a uh, pair of his because I bought him some too um, to take as well and yeah I I think that's all I packed in this wash bag I don't really think I need anything else you know if I'm missing something let me know alrighty guys so that is all that I packed in my bag again keep in mind it's not like we're staying overnight or anything like that they obviously well I could very well be staying overnight just depends on when I get birth um, but yeah our stay is not as long as a typical hospital stay um, in any case, I think all you would need is like two or three outfits. I have two. Um, hopefully they have towels there. I need to call them and see if they have towels. If not, we'll put some towels in the car too because imagine you take a shower and there's no towels. I'm pretty sure they have towels. I hope they have towels. Um, but that's all I packed. I feel like I don't need anything else besides the few other couple things I just want to throw in there. That's honestly it. Um, I wanted to keep it simple. Pack what I need. I don't feel like overpacking and overwhelming myself. Um, if there is something that you guys think <laughs> that I need to know about or that I forgot, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions or to hear what people have to say. Everyone's different and it's always nice to learn um, from other people. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give me a thumbs up, a huge fat juicy thumbs up. Um, baby girl is due any day now. Um, like I said, my due date was actually today, but we're not forcing it. When God and this girl decides that, hi baby, that she's ready to come, that's when we'll do it. For now, I'm going to keep doing what I do and living my life and waiting for her arrival. Thank you guys again. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.